Adventures and we're here on my family farm in Shropshire Hills. We've been working with the Seven Rivers Trust to install some leaky dams in our part of the Raybrook, which um, leads down to the Habley Brook first. So the leaky dam is essentially to slow the flow and hold back the silt, especially in high rainfall, just to steady the speed of the water. I'm Cecilia Young, I'm a catchment officer at Seven Rivers Trust. Um, and I'm the catchment officer for the Raybrook catchment, which we're standing with. Ed. So the funding that I've got in the Ray catchment, the main thing is the Ray Demonstrator Project, which is a natural flood management program for several years worth of funding, looking at nature-based solutions that we can work with landowners to implement to try and hold water back across the Raybrook catchment itself. And it's called a demonstrator because we're not fixing the problem in one go. We're looking at a whole range of projects that in their own way will hold water back in a different way and give ideas to other people that they could do on their land. So the idea behind Leaky Dams is you fell trees um, it either into the watercourse or across the watercourse and then high flow periods the water hits it and either spreads out into the adjoining land just short term so we're not taking land out of use or it just increases the roughness of the stream which will just slow it down it'll slow its power down because it's all about making the water reach the downstream parts of the river later than it would have normally. And if everybody can do that, then the actual peak flows down in the bottom of the catchment will be less. So we've done, I think it's 18 leaky dams um, down the tributaries here, and we've also sit, installed a series of five scrapes. So they're designed to not be full of water all year round, but will, it'll intercept the surface water flow and again, hold it back so it won't flow rushing over the field down to the brook but we'll probably get there a few days later which is often enough to just reduce that peak flow further downstream. So we've got a series of five scrapes going down the slope here and a scrape is literally you get the bucket of the digger and you drag the soil and make a bit of a mound here so you've gone down about a foot there and up a foot here and the idea is that they'll probably vegetate over in the summer and um, they'll be grazable and they won't hold water most of the time and this one's still quite wet and um, which is a sign of how wet this year has been um, and what you can see is they're slightly offset so this one the water is actually trickling out down here but rather than going straight to the brook it's actually going into the next one so that water still isn't rushing down to the river so putting the scrapes in and the leaky dams they do mean something to us farms because you just feel like you're giving a little bit back like if you've got the space to do it then it's quite nice to think that you can help manage the water Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm Mike Streetley and this is Meadow Town and um, about four years ago we bought this field with the idea of planting some trees and um, generally improving the environment um, and um, well, as we started to get to know the land what we realised is that um, in the heavy rain because it's a very clay soil we get um, a lot of runoff coming down here so um, talking to Seven Rivers Trust about the, the project and the opportunity to see if we could um, slow the flow and intercept some of that water. Uh, they've come along here and they've constructed a series of um, five of these uh, scrapes who are standing in one here and then there is a sequence of them going down the, um, down the slope. So that was done earlier this summer and well we're going to see what happens in the winter really. So it's a bit of a suck it and see, we don't know it what it's going to do but we we expect that it's just going to hold the water back a little bit when it rains heavily Hi there, my name's Richard Dryden. I run a small, low-impact company. We specialise in wetland restoration works for um, leaky dams, 
empty vegetation jobs. It's all low impact, small scale, lightweight equipment. We're here at Motor Farm doing a series of wetland scrapes. So on this site, we've got a series of slightly larger ponds. Um, basically, the landowner identified a very buggy corner of a field, which wasn't much use for grazing cows or anything else on it, and decided to make it increase its water holding capacity. Because what we need for, for ponds like this is that always to be capacity, that during a flood it's going to hold more water. It may hold water all year round, or we may find it's ephemeral, and, and in the summer it's, it's dry, and either of those is fine, as long as... Come the floods, we've got capacity to take more water. So anywhere that people have these, they're the people we're looking for. It's not impacting the farm business, but it's making a great step forward for holding water back locally.